A Discovery Channel film crew set up at the University of California Office of the President to shoot crucial scenes for their all-new series, Prototype This, a program that gives viewers a first-hand account of the invention process, from the drawing board through the design and, finally, proof of concept. This episode focused on gecko claws, a human-scale climbing technology that mimics the gecko lizard's amazing ability to scurry up walls. The goal of the shoot, to see if a local climber could scale the UC Administrative Building's five-story cinder block wall. I love this project. It's in the true spirit of modern-day science. That's uh, really uh, creativity and collaboration. Um, right now, you know, we started at UC Berkeley, then we went over to Stanford, talked to UC Santa Barbara, and now we're here at the UC Administration Building about to climb the wall. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. It's all really coming together today, and I just hope it works. <laughs> Show co-host Dr. Mike North, a University of California Santa Barbara alumnus, is lead engineer of Gecko Claws and worked closely with UC Berkeley integrative biologist Dr. Robert Full, who discovered that Gecko Claws help the lizards climb up rough surfaces, but millions of microscopic toe hairs make it possible for them to climb up smooth ones. For years, scientists have been interested in using this technology for robots in search and rescue applications and exploration, including Mars. But in this case, for the prototype this, we wanted to make something a person could actually use. So we had to go to a much more practical regime of gecko adhesives. Each gecko claw consists of 1,500 steel fish hooks embedded into hard and soft polyurethane. Climber Lynn Varensky demonstrates how she'll use gecko claws. I think the idea is I'm going to... Put it up, place it, weight it, and then bring the other one up above it and weight that, and then bring my feet up a bit, bring it up again, etc., etc. I'm a little nervous. I mean, really, I'm not so much frightened of, for my safety as I am um, just nervous that the invention you know, will work. I really feel invested at this point, and, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's going to be a success. I have no idea if it'll work. I just have to believe or hope that it's going to try my best, you know, and, and see what happens. The new technology, they make a very odd noise as they're engaging. And all I think is, oh, oh, does that, it sounds like it's slipping. So it's a little disconcerting. There were just a few slips along the way, but Varensky kept going. I would love to try to make it all the way up. As a climber, I mean, it's always about reaching the top. So if I can reach the top, I'll be pretty happy. With the success of the invention, North says the next step is looking at the overall design and figuring out how to better integrate it with the climber, and to someday have a hybrid system that incorporates both smooth and rough surfaces. But for now, they're just happy to revel in success. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Gecko Woman! Yeah! Yeah! And what does Varensky think of her new moniker? I don't know about Gecko Girl. I mean, I've, I've been called worse, so <laughs> Gecko Girl's not so bad. Yeah. For Science Today, I'm Larissa Brannan.